right now I'm going to be playing Baby Shark. Exciting, actually. You get to jump in muddy puddles, you and you get, and then, that? and then you get bit by mosquitoes. Getting bit by mosquitoes is not fun at all. It's not fun, but it's not boring. It's it is raining a little bit. It's just like taking a bath. Just, just, mama, just like Peppa likes to jump in muddy puddles. Yes, That's Peppa fun. Pig likes to jump in muddy. You, if you're going to jump in puddles, you must wear your you boots. Must wear your boots. It is heavy. It's heavy. It, a little bit. It's a lot of it. Heavy. Yeah. See my food? Look at that yellow chicken. Mama? There. Mama, look, when, we make, when we wait until the clouds stop crying and the sun dries up the crying and it gets a, a, a hot day. Don't drop, they don't drop it on the food now. Can I help wash dishes, please? It's not your day. You already had your quality time. I thought you were going on your family trip. And this family and the family trip is someplace imaginary. You you you're salty about that? He's going We're gonna go there for real. Salty? Yana? It's gonna be raining all day. No. Hey, 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 you don't have to go out. Hey, don't walk off. Hey, you better drive, dude. Stop walking off like that. You, that's not nice. What are you doing? Why are you following me? Because I'm trying to fume you. I'm supposed to be screaming you. 
I'm cleaning up right now. Okay, so I forgot to come up here and give you guys an update on Ellie's potty training situation. She is completely and totally potty trained. Um, from the third day that we started the training, I was asking her every day, I mean every moment when I thought about it, do you have to go to the potty? And she gave me resistance when she didn't want to go. And when she did have to go, she would go to the potty and just pee and be on there. It wasn't even long. She would sit on the potty, pee, and get up and go play. I mean, it was like quick. Like she had that much control by the third day and she understood what was going on that she just kind of peed. She went to bed for nap. She woke up dry. She went for, to bed to uh, for nighttime at night and she woke up dry. So she was actually controlling herself and then when she gave it more now put on a potty and she would pee and then you know she would eat on the fourth day she's been verbalizing i gotta go potty she didn't say that um she wouldn't say that she would tell me she had to go poop <laughs> and that means she has to go to the potty one day she came and started pulling her pants she was pulling the back of her pants and i was like what's wrong and i looked in there and it, it was the sprout of something so I put her on the potty, she finished it, and she was like, oh. I said, this is where it goes. I'm like, this is, it goes in a potty. It don't go in your pants, it goes in the potty. I said, okay, and she said, okay, and then, you know, I cleaned her up, changed her clothes. And so from that moment on, she has not went in her clothes. She did have a little issues here and there on when she is done. Cause she would, she would go to the pot and she would do her business. And sometimes she would make a mess by pulling her pants up. And I don't know that she went to the potty and I have to clean her up and change her clothes. Other than that, she's been consistently going and understanding, okay, this is where I'm supposed to go. She has been the easiest potty training baby I've ever, cause like with Buddy, it took me like a couple of months, I feel like to get him to the point where he was understanding what I wanted him to do. And I don't think it was because he didn't understand. I think he just didn't want to do it. That's what I felt. <laughs> I think it's really just up to the child. I think the child is is, the, is really, if they really want to learn how to do this, or they want to keep doing what they're doing. So again, for all you mommies out there, please stay encouraged. Um, I know it's tough. Praying to God the other, the, when I started, I said, Lord, I really don't want to deal with this. I don't. Because I've been dealing with other things, which I might talk about that later. And I was like, I don't know if I, you know, I can stay focused on her to do this. And God has allowed it to be where this piney training child was the easiest out of all of them. I didn't think I would be able to do it in basically four days, but... It happened, and so don't, don't, I don't want you guys to think that all my children was potty trained in four days. It, that's not, no, no, it didn't happen that way. The scripture of the week is, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. Yes. Yes. The scripture of the week is, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. I got it right. I got it right. Your two books. I did. It's marked off. What did you read today, then? I want to know what you read. Pigeon and not a box. Okay. And that Bible thing that what, you told me No, what today. was the story about, then? The Bible? Yeah. The story was about Joseph. What about Joseph? I don't remember. Well, then maybe you should read it again. 
than the one about Joseph. Jo Joseph, when when they got mad, they threw they threw Joseph in a den. I don't know where they got that den from. And then, hey, stop hitting people. Apologize to your brother. I say sorry. And then they did that. give him a hug. And then they were trying to di trick their dad. Say sorry. They were trying to. Di ah! Don't stop, stop, me. Stop, stop, stop. Put it down. Hey, that's not you. Hey. Hey, that's not nice. Stop it. Now apologize to your sister. Apologize to your sister. Say sorry, sissy. Now give sissy a hug. Now you gotta stop being so mean. Okay? Okay. Bye. Goodbye. When you were young, you said, push the blue book. Press the blue book.